Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan and welcome to JC's Anime Reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Shin Sekai Yori from the New World. And yeah, um, I wanted to do this one because the last two, yeah, I think the last two that I did were animes that just happened to end recently or the second season was starting or something like that. And like they weren't ones that like I was super excited to do. I mean, I still enjoyed doing them. But I wanted to do this one because this is an anime that I really like, and I just wanted to do one that I really like. And yeah, there's like no new season of this starting recently or anything like that. It's not like it's not like this ended recently. Um, it's been out since 2013, I believe. I could be wrong. And yeah, I um, it's been a little bit since I've seen this one. I'm actually currently rewatching it right now because of how much I like this one. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Um, I'm excited to do this. It's been a while since we've done one that I just like was really excited for. And yeah, so hopefully this is going to be a good review. So guys, before I talk about the plot, uh, I just want to tell you that this is one of those animes that's kind of hard to uh, explain without spoiling some stuff. Um, I'm going to do my best. I'm pretty sure what I have written down or what I'm going to say basically is not really spoiling it. But I just wanted to let you know this is one of those animes where you should go in not knowing anything or be as blind or go in as blind as possible. Sorry, but um, I'm gonna tell you what it's about, and I'm it might seem confusing, and I'm gonna be a little bit more vague. I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to go that in depth with this anime. Just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, I'm not gonna be spoiling anything, but this is one of those animes that. It's a little hard to explain without spoiling some stuff, so that's why I'm going to be a little bit vague when I explain it, or not as in-depth as most of my other videos, so yeah, here we go. This anime takes place in a post-apocalyptic world set a thousand years after our era. In the town of Kamisu 66, 12-year-old Saki Watanabe has just awakened to her telekinetic powers, and is relieved to rejoin her friends, the mischievous Satoru Asahina, the shy Mamoru Itu, and the cheerful Maria Akazuki and Sean Aonuma, a mysterious boy whom Saki admires, at Sage Academy, a special school for psychics. However, unease looms as Saki begins to question the fate of those unable to awaken to their powers, and the children begin to get involved with secretive matters such as the rumored tainted cats said to abduct children. Shin Sekaiyori tells the unique coming-of-age story of Saki and her friends as they journey to grow into their roles in the supposed utopia. Accepting these roles, however, might not come easy when faced with the dark and shocking truths of society and the impending havoc born from the new world. So basically, it follows his girl, Saki, and her friends that live in this society, and they all have, or they all have telekinesis. And yeah, I'm sorry, I can't explain too much about it. This is one of those ones where I just can't go too much into it because it would probably ruin it. But yeah, um, this is a really, really nice anime. I really enjoyed this one. It's really beautiful. It has amazing characters. The story I thought was really good. And the music, man, I really like the music. Just the score throughout the whole anime. It's really, really nice. I really like it. And also one thing that's really unique about this anime that I don't think I've ever seen before is that there's no opening. There's only an ending or a sequence, which I thought that was really interesting, like the song. The ending song I thought was really good too, but most animes you see it like starts off and it just opens with like a song and usually the song kind of shows a lot of stuff or in most animes they'll show kind of a lot of things that are happening, which I really like that, that they don't do a theme song that reveals some stuff to it. So I really like that it just opens by basically it says the name of the episode and then it goes right into it and I really, really like that. And it has such a good job at slowly explaining things to you. Basically, in, when you first go into this, when you first watch it, um, you're probably going to be a little confused. Like, even me re-watching it, um, I could see it being pretty confusing for someone watching it for the first time. And yeah, it actually is pretty confusing, but it does a really good job at basically slowly explaining stuff. So you kind of go in wondering what's going on and you're kind of confused. And then by the end of the anime, you kind of understand everything. They did a really brilliant job with that. And yeah, I don't know. I really, really like that about this anime. Um, it's very like mysterious and you don't really know what's going on for a little bit of it. And that's why for this one, if you do watch it, definitely try to watch the first few episodes because the first like two I thought were a little confusing. This is one of those ones where you should go in as blind as possible and pretty much know nothing about it. Like I wouldn't even read the plot of it if you're watching it on Crunchyroll or whatever. I would just start watching it and yeah just give it a chance to try to watch the first few episodes and yeah I'm sure that you guys will really like it. It's really really cool. I really love this anime. 
Um, it's definitely, it's one of my top 10 favorite animes of all time. It's definitely up there. So yeah, sorry if I was a little vague, um, but you slowly start to understand stuff. I think the way that they do this is, so you're following these kids pretty much, and you very much see everything through their eyes. At least that's what I think in my opinion, because you follow them as they're, they grow up basically, and as they're getting older, you slowly start to understand more stuff as well. And you're basically like understanding more stuff about this world, um, like along with them, which I thought that was really cool. And yeah, it just feels like you're very much like you don't understand a lot of the stuff that's going on. And that much like these kids, they don't really understand some of the stuff that's going on. But as they get older, you slowly understand stuff. And I don't know, I thought that that was really cool. Like even in real life, it's like that. Like when you're younger, you might not understand certain things about the society or stuff that's going on. But as you get older, you just start to learn more stuff about the world that you live in. And I feel like they did a really good job with that. So yeah, I really like that, that basically just as they get older, you slowly understand stuff more. They understand stuff more. It's just, it's a really, really good anime. I'm really glad that I watched it. I'm really glad that they did that. And yeah, um, I highly recommend checking this anime out. Going as blind as possible but yeah i really really enjoyed this anime and i really really recommend it so i'm gonna give shin sekayori from the new world an a plus wow! so yeah it's been a while since i've given anything an a plus i think since my your name review and demon slayer which was like the very the first two reviews i ever did i have not done like an a plus since then so i'm really happy that we got to do this i just really like that we got to talk about this anime i really really like it and yeah i'm sorry if i didn't get, go too much into detail with it um this is just one of those ones where you can't really talk about that much without spoiling um if you guys want to see a video where i go more in depth with this if you have seen the anime um let me know in the comments below if you want to see more in depth with any of the videos I've done. I would love to do that with like basically any of the animes. Most of them I generally try to not spoil anything. I think the one video where I went more in depth was my Beastars review um, because that was more like a character analysis than a review. So yeah, I would love to do something like that again. If you guys want me to do something like that in the future, let me know and let me know any anime you want me to review. Right now with all the animes being canceled, there's not too many to like review because no, there's not like another season starting for a lot of these animes. And yeah, so I'm not gonna be reviewing any new animes anytime soon. I'm probably gonna be reviewing older ones, some of my favorite ones. But yeah, if you guys have any anime you want me to review, I'd totally do it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video around if you liked it. It really helps a lot. And thank you guys so much for all your support throughout all these videos. Um, it really means a lot. And yeah, I'm really happy that we're doing this. I think the one video a week, I think is um, a lot better. I've started to do that, so I'm probably gonna stick with that. I'm able to put more effort and work into the videos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.